how's the week been? Uh, good. So uh, the weather has forced us inside some. Um, so, but you know, we're fortunate got the facilities to practice inside, and I think you know just being a little bit cooler. We've been practicing in 90 degree weather the last two weeks before this, so I think getting inside I think should help us uh, maybe recuperate a little bit. Matt, any update on the injury front at all? Uh, none. Kim Webster has practiced, which that that's that's been a positive. Um, but uh, other than that, it's status quo. How's it, uh, Jordan? He's taken a couple of hits the last two games, both shoulders. I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, I think he's sore. I mean, it's just yeah. normal wear and tear stuff. I don't think it's anything serious, but, uh, you know, I think I think probably to a certain extent, everybody's yeah. a little bit banged yeah. up and will continue to be that way. And you just got to do a good job managing your body and, and you know, living in the, uh, the training room. I know his numbers are good and everything, but how has he operated the offense in your mind? Uh, good. I mean, uh, you know, to some extent, you can't look at the numbers, but, uh, you know, walking off the field, I didn't feel like he threw for 442 yards, <laughs> you know, but it's just, but he did. And uh, so I just think, uh, I think he's done a good job of, um, of mixing it up. I mean, if you look at our numbers every game, you see, you know, seven catches, six catches, six, you know, I mean, it, it's it's pretty balanced. So I like spread that. Out. He's spreading it out. So I like, he's not locked in on one guy. I think he's spreading it out. As far as his decision making on RPOs, has it been up to y'all standards? I, I think uh, I think it is. I think uh, every once in a while he'll try to make a play down the field, but uh, just given Scotty's yards per carry, uh, I think that lends itself to, hey, he's making the right decisions and handing it off at the right time because Scotty's yards per carry is very efficient. The last two times y'all been down there, and I think both the <coughs> night games, obviously very different circumstances, but do you feel this team is, I guess, better equipped mentally to kind of go down there and handle that environment since a lot of them, especially on the offensive side, were there two well, years I think, ago? Well, I think some of them have some experience, but some of them don't. Uh, but uh, I think maybe going on the road and playing in Houston – with this team certainly should help. It's going to be much. Um, it's going to be much louder, uh, so we're going to have to be able to deal with the crowd noise. And there's a lot of things uh, going on the road. But uh, I think you just got to embrace it. It's going to be a great atmosphere and enjoy it. You guys, as a staff, have talked a lot about how much improvement you see in year two. What have you seen from Alex Cocho's second full year in his position? What have you seen from LSU? Well, I mean. Obviously, they're the, they're the they're the number five team in the in the country and, and very very good. I'm uh, obviously impressed with their defense, and um, they, they're 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 very very good on all three levels: D line, linebacker, and secondary. They're very talented, and then uh, offensively, um, they don't turn the ball over. You know, and they they're 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 efficient in the red zone. They score points, and I just I mean they're they're a good football team. How much of that do you contribute to it being year two? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, I think continuity is always good. And I, I think that's important. I think Coach Aranda does a good job. And I think, uh, you know, any time that you have continuity, to me, people get better. Matt, Ed was very complimentary of you during his press conference yesterday. What, what do you remember about being on his staff? Well, you know, I, um, again, me being a young coach, I think there's always something you could take. I mean, he, he had tremendous energy, and I'm sure his players are feeding off that. does an unbelievable job recruiting. And yeah, I think you can see that with the players that they have. So, uh, obviously, they're doing their number five in the country. They're doing a great job. And, He's done well. What have you taken personally from that time? Uh, me personally, I think um, just the uh, the recruiting piece of it. Um, I was a recruiting coordinator under him, and, and and obviously learned a lot from the from the recruiting standpoint. Him, they were a little bit ahead of the curve coming out from Southern Cal uh, to here. So uh, I thought uh, there's a lot of stuff he was doing good. You know, maybe ahead of everybody else at that time. You got asked about this on Monday, I think, but Jason Jones was in here yesterday talking about Kedron Smith and. With you guys being shorthanded at corner, he said this snap snap load, I guess, increased by game, and he finally kind of gained more and more trust. Did you kind of sense that on a game by game basis with him? Yeah, I mean, anytime a true freshman's out there playing uh, meaningful snaps, you know that they're uh, they're doing well. And I love his length. That's what everybody's looking for at corner is that length, and I think um, he's going to continue to grow. You you kind of saw it in uh, fall camp, and then some early in the season, and I think he'll just continue to gain more confidence as he goes. What does a healthy Webster do as far as, I guess, stability for you all in that same department? Well, I think it's good. I think any time you can add to the depth, it helps. And it helps us maybe move another corner inside where, where, you know, with Custis being out. So I think any time that you get a guy back, I think that's huge. How's Sweeney coming along? Uh, good. You know, trying to get back in shape. And uh, he's been out there practicing now. Uh, he was, you know, in pads last week and a little bit better this week. So I think, um, I think he'll be um, – probably getting back into form and, and has a chance to play some this week. 
the Jordan Tamu era started at LSU last year. What do you remember from, from uh, going in? I mean, I just I remember both his drives were scoring drives uh, right before halftime and then again right at the end of the game. So I think everybody kind of saw a glimpse of what it could be, and I think um, – I think it gave him a lot of confidence moving forward. Why was he able to step in so coolly? I don't know. I just I think you got to credit him and, and Coach Longo for having a ready for his opportunity. You played in that stadium down there as a player. What did you think about it? Did you like it, love it, hate it? Well, I, you know, I grew up, um, obviously, my dad, that was his that was his rivalry when he played, and obviously when my brother uh, played. So I've, I've been involved in it, and I knew kind of what to expect, which helped. So. Uh, but it was uh, it's it's a good atmosphere. It's a it's a great college venue, and um, you know the players when you come, you only get to play at Tiger Stadium twice. So I think you just got to take embrace the environment and take advantage of it when you go, and just use the the crowd noise to your advantage if you can. For, forgive me for not knowing, but was your dad in the Billy Cannon game? Did he I think that was before before him. Okay. But I but I heard all about it. And, uh, and yeah, but my, yeah, my dad's quick to tell me though in the rematch that it was like 21 to nothing. So my dad always reminds me of that. So y'all had the late kick at Tuscaloosa <coughs> last year, and you've gotten the late one again this yep. week. How do y'all kind of handle that? After, you know, you got meetings and stuff, but that time in between. Yeah, it's tough. So you try to, you know, we're going to go to the stadium on Friday night and then not do much meetings. Uh, don't have many meetings on Friday night and try to use the Saturday morning time, at, you know, to meet. Mm -hmm. So we'll just try to back up everything and. And you know, try to maybe do some walkthroughs and just get them up and get them moving. And um, you know, but there there will be some dead time. You know, it's 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 a long day in the hotel for sure. But uh, I think um, you know, it's it's a great opportunity. You know, because you you're, you're you have all day to think about. Hey, this is a big game. So I think that, I think that's the good part of it. Thanks. Cool. All right. Thank, thank, you. thank you, guys.